And today I would like us to discuss uh, judging by conduct and possibly judging by separation. So uh, I welcome you. Feel free, learn and improve on your physics. So uh, yesterday we dealt with judging by induction and we realized that you can judge a material using induction and um, we can now again at conduct because in induction there was no conduct, it just in use at using a just road. But today uh, conduct is whereby there is a touch between the material to be judged and the judging road. So what we are judging always is the transpiring board and I say it, it is always placed on insulated stands. For a different reason, this stand should be insulated. Uh, so, before we judge this material, it has both positive and negative charges at equal numbers. And uh, what we need to know is we can make it, we can make more of, uh, we can make one of the charges to be more. The other becomes less, meaning that it's going to have a certain charge, either positive or negative. Look at this. Right now, it's neutral because it has equal number of charges of positive and negative charges. So, uh, I can print. The first step is you print, maybe use a negative. You bring it close to, but not to touch the polystyrene board. The reason why you're bringing it close to, but not touching, is so that the charges here, the two types of charges can separate. So, we bring it close to. When it's been brought close to, it's repelling electrons to the far end uh, while protons are left on this side. That is the first step. We bring it close to but not touching so that the electrons can be repelled while the protons are left on the side close to the charging node. Then, after that, we bring down the charging node to touch. So we allow it to touch the material to be charged. And in the process, you wrap. In the process of touching the polystyrene board, you wrap. What happens when you wrap? Oh, this one is negative. Uh, when you wrap, when you wrap, the negative charges in the charging board uh, cancels, we call it in physics, it neutralizes the positive charges in the polystyrene load. The best time that you can use, it may not neutralize all of them, but it will neutralize some of them. So we see the negative charges in the charging load neutralizes some of the positive charges in the polystyrene board. Meaning, it's only the electrons which are going to be left. So what we have here is, at the end of the day, the negative charges would be redistributed. It's going to be redistributed in the polystyrene board. So, uh, this is a negatively charged road, I would obtain a negatively charged polystyrene board. So, in conduct, we acquire the same charges. In induction, we acquire opposite charges. Look at this. Uh, let me use a positive one. We have a polystyrene board there. I have a positive one. What happens? It's going to attract negative charges close to this, while the positive charges are left at the far end. That way. That is the first step. The second step will bring it close to. Such that it can now wrap on it. We use the word wrap. Then you wrap this charging rod on to the polystyrene board. Then the positive charges in the charging rod would neutralize some of the negative charges 
in the police training board. So, at the end of the day, it may not utilize all of them, but at, at the end of the day, positive judges will be more than the negative judges. So, the material will be positively judged. So, these positive judges will redistribute are going to redistribute themselves and the material becomes positively charged. So when judging by conduct, ensure you get the same that is as the charging mode. That is by conduct. By the financial is very simple, look at this again. Charging by separation. We separate. This one. Judging by the person is whereby we can judge two polystyrene balls at the same time or any other two objects at the same time. So I will have this in contact with another one this way. I will name this A, I will name this B. So now they are in contact together, so it's like A and B are is one material, but remember they are placed on integrated stars. Then you bring either a positive or negative return towards this part. For example, this is negative. What will happen when it's being brought close to it? Remember here again there is no contact. When it's being brought close to it, it repels electrons this far end, while protons are left. I believe you are getting my words. I think that the products are affected by saying the products are left. Then, B will be having negative charges. A will be having positive charges. Then, this charging node should not be removed from this place. It is supposed to remain there until you separate B from A. That's why we call it separation. This one, B, A. The two charges will be able to undergo the distribution. This is B. It undergoes the distribution again. So we can get two objects, two polystyrene bolts at the same time when we charge by polystyrene board. If I use positive return charge to charge, A would be post uh, negative return. B would be positive return. That is it. So you can practice Jake on what we are supposed to do concerning the methods. Uh, proceed the next lesson um, on a, a body leaf electroscope. And um, from there you will be able to answer some application questions that requires the knowledge on electrostatics places.